Hello everybody and welcome back to This Week in Halo. We've got a lot to talk about this week, from Halo 2 on the original Xbox to Halo 2 on PC, Project Cartographer. We have a brand new Halo Infinite update, the Red vs Blue trailer dropped, we have a heap of beautiful Forge creations, and so much more. So let's not waste any more time, let's get into the video. So first up today, Halo 2. We have the Insignia Halo 2 on the original Xbox, and we have Halo 2 Project Cartographer on PC. Halo 2 Insignia on the original Xbox. Xbox has seen an update, the playlists on screen have all been updated, allowing people to find matches easier. In terms of game preservation, this is absolutely incredible. For the last couple weeks, and I even made the longer video about it, the Halo 2 Insignia servers have been fantastic, they've been a lot of fun, and it is such a big difference from modern gaming. We also have Project Cartographer, the Halo 2 PC project, and they have just released a massive update. You can now play Halo 2 the way it was originally intended with all of the fixes the Master Chief Collection doesn't currently have with an uncapped frame rate. So you can play over 240 FPS, the game looks phenomenal, super duper smooth, and if you haven't jumped in and tried the update out, give it a go. There is even sword flying in matchmaking. That is cool. Now this brings us to Halo Infinite, and 343 shared the Yappening trailer just last night. The Yappening 2 is happening. There's a couple of things we're getting in the brand new update. The new map Corrosion will be coming to the game, although not when the update comes out. Grunt Apocalypse will be going into Firefight when the update rolls out. You get the 20 tier battle pass as usual, and then I'm sure there's going to be a whole bunch of cosmetics in the shop for very expensive prices. But we will see that when the update comes out. What I think is going to happen is Grunt Apocalypse will be the featured firefight mode that will roll for two weeks and then Corrosion 24-7, which was shown on the leaks, will become the featured playlist. 343 is doing that so there's always something new every two weeks. It's not a bad idea as if you're returning to the game every time you load it up there's going to be something new to play. This brings me to Forge and it has been such a large week for Forge this week. Not only is there the brand new Battle Royale that I cannot even imagine how long it took to make, I really respect all of the time all of the Forges put in on that project, they are absolutely carrying the game, but also a new map called Remnant released. Made by some of the same people, Ethan Hibbs as well as Nocturnal Lahont, they have created a map that is truly developer quality. You can see it on screen as I'm walking through the map right now. Look how pretty this is. It has to go into matchmaking. It really, really does. It's stunning. I'll show some bird's eye view angles as well on screen. Now, the level of quality the Forges are putting out on this game, I really wish 343 would give them more than just a coating in game. Now, moving on from that, and the final Halo Infinite thing I want to cover, I did a video about this yesterday, but the cheating issue on both Halo Infinite and Halo MCC is worse today than it's ever been. People are using lag switches in Halo Infinite, they can see through walls, they have aimbots, they're manipulating the game. And the worst part about it is if you do play Halo Infinite, people are lag switching on Xbox as well. It's across the board. So 343 needs to take the fix from the old networking model and put it into the new one so people cannot lag switch, as it's becoming a really big problem. Now the absolute worst part about this, and even since I made the video last night, the cheaters have been combining the hacks they already had with the new lag switching technique they're using, and it's made the game even more broken than before. In the last 24 hours, you guys have submitted at least 100 hundred different instances of people cheating. This is from high level ranked all the way to social husky raid. The clip on screen you're watching right now is literally a team of four in ranked They've changed their gamer tags to known streamers in the hopes of getting the innocent streamers banned and are purposely ruining games. This has to be fixed. Doing ban waves every so often means for the players who are playing in the meantime are going to have a rough experience. If 343 can't fix this, there should at least be a toggle for console players to turn off PC crossplay. Finally today, and it's kind of bittersweet, Red vs Blue Rooster Teeth showed off the final trailer of the series. Now I think this is really poetic as Rooster Teeth started with Red vs Blue and it's how they're going to finish. I watched a live stream where Jeff was actually talking and he got so emotional. The entire crew was very emotional and for many of us, lots of us Halo fans, Rooster Teeth was a massive part of our childhood. The final season of Red vs Blue is going to launch as a feature movie. There are so many Halo fans looking forward to this, myself included. I really hope it's fantastic to give the series the proper send-off it deserves. And that's everything, everybody. 
That is this week in Halo. Halo Infinite, Halo 2, both on the original Xbox and PC. Some beautiful brand new Halo Infinite Forge creations, and of course, the send-off for Red vs. Blue. Once the new Halo Infinite update drops, I will cover it, I'll put it through its paces, so keep an eye out for that. So thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.